Well, hello once again. I'm back with the promised video that I talked about on the last one uh, where I was answering a question from uh, Joe Lowe. Um, so he wanted to know how to change um, certain parameters that are not available to do on LCD displays. But I don't have any LCD displays, so I'm going to be showing it on seven segment displays. So what I'm going to be showing is like instruments that you can only um, assign like gauges. Um, we're going to be assigning them to display their data on displays. So right here on this one right here, which is a Mac 7219, we're going to be putting the altitude. On this one over here, we're going to be putting the speed, airspeed. On this one, we'll do the heading. And on this one, we're going to do the vertical speed. So this is not authorized. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure this is not um, allowed, you know, by, by the developers of uh, Hixi. Um, I have never seen anything written about this, you know, in any of the pages, but it's something that I needed to have when I fly the F-16 because the numbers were so tiny on the HUD that I couldn't even read them, you know, like if I wanted to see my heading or my altitude or anything, I couldn't even see them unless I zoom in quite a bit. So I needed to put some displays to show me those, those values. And then two people also asked. So I figured, hey, you know what? This is pretty handy. I'll just share it since uh, Joe Lowe was the second person to ask me. Now, when I record this video here, it's June 5th, 2021. Uh, so anything on the website that I show, that's the way it would appear on that day. And of course, like always, you know, things are subject to change. And I always encourage you guys to visit their website um, at hcscis.com and uh, you read everything that you need to learn about you know whatever you're assigning you know for your project at that particular time the plugin version that i'll be using is uh, 1.0.76 all right so let's go ahead and jump over to the configurator here and i'll get myself out of the picture and so the first thing you need to do is obviously go to the configurator now, before we can do this, we need to assign uh, displays. If you don't have any displays assigned, you will not be able to do this because they will not show up. So you need to make sure you assign them first. So what I'm going to do first, um, I have a the Max 7219 is on pin number 35. So I'm going to go ahead and assign that right there. And it's going to be a Max 7219. So I'll leave it like that and confirm. And then uh, I have an output multiplexer on pin number 14 so I'm gonna go ahead and assign that there and then I have a number five I have a four digit TM 1637 and then on number 10 I have another one of those and on number 15 I have a six digit TM 1637 so that's the one that I'm gonna do uh, now you got the display saved in there so that's all we need to do for now um, here's the thing now if you go to the list of instruments here you know I'm going to select some of these instruments that when you click on them for the example let's I'm going to do the altitude first just because because that's the the one on the left over here on my panel okay so now if we notice if we go to this altitude altimeter here uh, it has three different hands you know obviously you know one would be the the thousands ones would be the the hundreds and then the other one would be the I guess when you go over 10,000 this one would change in there uh, to the you know over one so anyway so we don't need to use that one because the problem with this if you use this one right here or this one right here you, you know you're only gonna get certain digits this one will only show round numbers like you know 1000 1100 1200 it won't show you like 1245 so what we need to do is choose this one right here so now when you select it you can see that it only lets you select a stepper motor so that's no problem I'll show you what we need to do later <clears throat> so we're just gonna pretend that we're gonna put that in in one of the pins uh, if you wanted to add a stepper motor board you would need to do it here so uh, we'll just put that on number five okay and what you really need to know is what comes up right here 
this is what you're going to need to know. So that's it for that for now. So that's going to be the altitude. Um, next, we'll do the airspeed indicator. So for the airspeed indicator, obviously, you need to do this one here. And I'm going to try to remember to show you guys a, a little quirk that I found. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to show up right now. But just in case it does, I'll talk about it when the time comes. Um, so just to keep it consistent, we're, we're just going to use stepper motors for all of these. So we'll just go ahead and put that right here. I'm not sure why that one got put right there. So, <laughs> All right, so that's the airspeed indicator. Uh, next, we're going to do the heading. So for the heading, um, you can select the direction of gyro. And you can do either one. It doesn't matter which one you select. Um, so since this is a Cessna 172, we'll just do the vacuum and we'll just put that on number 12. And finally, we're going to do the vertical speed. So that would be this one right here. So the vertical speed, we'll do the same, you know, stepper motor just to keep them all right here. And then we'll just put that on number 16. And once again, it doesn't matter where you put them. The only thing you're going to be able, need to see is the names. Okay, that's what you're going to be needing later on. So now that we have that assigned, we're going to go ahead and save it. We'll save that configuration file inside our Hixie folder. And as you guys all know, it has to be named data.config in order for the plugin to be able to read it. <clears throat> okay, so. I'm going to have to do something here so that you guys can see what I'm going to do to the configuration file now. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and then I will open up that configuration file that we just saved. So we'll go to the Hixie folder and open that up. So as you can see, everything that we assigned right now that with a stepper motor, um, it has a G on it. So and this is the displays we assigned. Remember, we assigned uh, the Max 7219 on pin 35 directly on the Arduino. And then on pins 5 and 10, we did um, the TM1637s. So those are assigned. Now, what we need to do is we need to remember what we wanted to put in each one. So if you remember, we're going to put the altitude on display 35. Um, and if you're using LCDs, the only difference here is that instead of putting N35, you're going to put Okay, so I like to keep my things in order. I'm going to remove this because I don't believe we need that for the for the display. But I like to keep my things in order. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to put it way on the bottom. So I'll just put it right there. Okay, so the next one uh, that we have the five segment, I'm sorry, the four digit TM1637, we're going to put it on pin 14.5. Okay, so that you would just basically change this to N14.5. And then the heading is going to be on the next one, which is 1410. So same thing. You're just going to change it to N 1410. And this one's going to be N 1415. And remember, the these numbers right here are the multiplexer that I have it on and the pin on the multiplexer that I have it on. So in the case of the one that's directly on the Arduino, it's on pin number 35, so I don't need to put any point something because it's directly on the Arduino. But this is what you need to do uh, if you do have, you know, something like a multiplexer. You need to put the point and then the number of the pin where that display is at. So we're going to go ahead and save it. It needs to replace the one that was there. All right, so now we're going to overlay the panel so that you guys can see it. Um, and I'll just put it right here. Okay, so that should be pretty good right there. And I just noticed that I have um, my microphone is on two different inputs right there. So hopefully we're not getting a terrible echo because I really don't feel like doing this over again. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it the same so that the sound can be consistent. But um, 
anyway so now we have the camera there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh the configurator right now and now it shows that we have uh, four outputs which is good I'm not sure why this one's showing 770 because that's supposed to be the heading oh I know why I think I know why if we go back to this uh, I didn't remove this from the heading so we need to remove that and save it again okay so now that I removed that we should be able to just uh, reload the configurator here no it still shows it it was working good earlier I'm not sure what's going on there okay I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you a different way of doing it then okay since that one wants to give us a problem right now I'm not sure why it was working fine earlier but of course every time you try to show it you know it's not gonna work of course right so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm going to we're gonna come back over here and I'm gonna show you another way to do the heading so if you come down to the list over here you'll notice that there is a, a heading underscore ahars and I cannot see a good way to put that you know I've tried to pin it somewhere and it doesn't let me it uh it actually just says you know what do I want to add on that pin so just remember is uh, heading underscore ahars and what we're gonna do now is just go to our configuration file again and we're just gonna basically change this vacuum to ahars and we're gonna save it alright now let's see if that'll work and we'll go back to the simulator and we'll reload the configuration I'm not sure if this happens to you guys but sometimes when it, when I reload it, it takes a very long time for it to come back and other times I even have to go up to the menu and I have to do the reload reset the plugin in order for it to return and I've already tried this directly on the computer I tried it with two different computers three different Arduinos with or without a USB hub and it does the same thing so I'm not sure what's going on but before we go any further um, I want you guys to notice that now it does say 079 when I'm using that you know and so that's good you know it's working right here right now um, if you look at the at the speed it's showing negative 21 and I'm not sure why it does that um, I've looked at the at the data reps and it does have something like that watch I'll show you alright so let me just put that over here so we could see it so if we go to the data reps and we put um, speed right air speed oops I guess it helps if I know how to spell it but if we look at the airspeed you can see right there that it does say negative 21 on some of these airspeeds that one right there um, there is a a value that I found that we could put if we were to be able to do a to change the custom data ref or whatever but since we can't do that right now I'm not gonna be able to show that but the important thing is that once we're flying it does show correctly so you can see right now that the altitude here is 781 feet our airspeed is negative 21 knots and at, at first I thought it was because of wind but it's not I already checked that and this is the heading and this is the vertical speed so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and you know just take off real quick so you can see and we'll just see how everything looks so okay so you'll see the numbers and the airspeed once you get up in the air or once you start moving it is correct see like right now I'm doing about 40 so it's good now I'm doing about 55 so there you go now you can see that the the vertical speed is changing the altitude is changing and then the speed is you know wherever you're doing obviously so let me let me start turning so you can see that the heading is going to be changing which is this one right here 
so yeah there you go what I've tried to I try to find out like using this right here the vertical speed to try to stabilize yourself is very difficult I, I found it a lot easier just to look at the at the actual needle uh, than try to do that but well there you go you can see that everything is working everything is changing you know I'll keep I'll keep changing the heading and everything on I'll try to increase my airspeed to over 100 just so that you can see that it it still works fine even after that and the cool thing about it is you see the the vertical speed it actually does go to negative once you're doing a, you know a descent so yeah it works good everything's showing approximately what the gauges are showing there so let me go ahead and pause this okay so if we go back to this screen here just uh, remember the very important things is that you first set up your displays make sure you assign the displays to whatever pins you're going to use and then you're going to need to change the uh, whatever assignments you have you're going to change it to an N if it's a seven segment display or if it's a LCD display and you know the way I found out is because when you assign uh, something you know like a display it's going to put that letter depending on if it's a, a stepper motor or a PWM gauge or a servo is going to add a letter and that's how I found out so then I just figured okay well let me try to put that parameter on a display and then I saw that it does work the only thing like I told you sometimes it's a little bit uh, weird what the things do but for the most part I think it works pretty good all right so that's my tip for this video um, you know like I said there's been a couple of you who asked about something like this if it was possible and I also had the need for it so I, I started playing around with it and figured it out and, and luckily it does work you know hopefully that's not something that will be taken away in the future because um, as many of you have probably noticed that when you try to open the the custom conversion file which is a DAT file um, and you try to open it all you see is like garbled characters because I guess it's encrypted and I and I heard before that eventually the data file will also be unreadable you know and I really hope they don't do that because then it'll limit a lot of the things that we can do like this you know which there is no way to do it through the configurator right now but because we're able to edit the data file which is not recommended I only recommend to do this if you know what you're doing and especially if you're gonna try something like this make sure you have a good backup of your data file in case you break something you can always you know put the backup back in and then everything will be as good as before you started messing with it but anyways um that's my uh, little secret here my little uh, unauthorized hack <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully it helps some of you guys out if you need to do this um, and that's it for now until the next one